morning and welcome back to Hello Beautiful Bear. If you're watching this then happy days, everything has gone as we've wanted and we will have announced our pregnancy, our second pregnancy with our second child. Um, so as you know we already have Lily who will probably be two by the time that you're watching this, she's two on the 9th of February um, and we are very very lucky to be able to say that we are now pregnant again. Um, we thought it would be a really long struggle and I suppose you know it's taken a couple of years for us to get to this stage again but it's been so easy compared to how long it took us to conceive Lily. And um, so it's now Wednesday and we found out we were pregnant on a Saturday so it's only been about five days. Um, the test said that I was one to two weeks, obviously you then add two weeks on um, because there's the two weeks before you get pregnant which counts within your 40 weeks so I'm probably about four weeks pregnant. Um, I've put all of my dates into the baby centre app and that says that I'm five weeks pregnant today so I'm not entirely sure whether I'm four weeks pregnant or five weeks pregnant but we're just happy because I am pregnant <laughs> which is just the best, the most amazing news. Um, so I have had a lot of symptoms which are why, um, why, why we took a pregnancy test. And we do take pregnancy tests quite often because my cycle is quite irregular, which might be why the baby centre app thinks I'm five weeks when I'm probably only four. Um, yeah, my, my cycle is really regular, so we are used to buying pregnancy tests, getting the cheapest ones that we can, watching them come up with a negative result and then just getting on with our lives because that's what we've got to do. Um, but this time it came up straight away and I didn't want to be cocky about it, but I was really hopeful and I was expecting it to come up which I never do because we have obviously we've had a pregnancy um, a positive pregnancy test before but that was just one in a million um, out of the millions that we've taken so yes we're pregnant again and the symptoms I've had is firstly I've been weeing for England which is something I do anyway ever since I've had Lily I seem to go to the toilet more often than not um, but yeah, even more so, so I thought I had a urine infection, but luckily not. Um, the main one has been really, really sore and tender breasts, like really bad, to the point where I can't have anything on them sometimes because it's just too uncomfortable. Um, so I've had to order a new bra um, without any underwiring and that sort of thing, which is nice because I re measured and everything and it's, you know, my bras have obviously been getting a bit smaller anyway because my breasts have been getting bigger, I don't know if that happens pre-conception, you know, in readiness, hormones and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that's been awful and it's still not gone. But in a way it's quite nice because it kind of shows that the pregnancy hormones are doing what they should be. I mean, not everyone gets sore boobs, I didn't get that in my first pregnancy, so if you've not got that, don't worry, everyone's different. Um, the only symptoms I had in my first pregnancy was being really, really emotional, whereas this time I don't seem to feel too bad. Um, so I've got the, the lots of wee, the sore breasts and romantic dreams. Now I didn't have one last night but every night since I found out I was pregnant and even before then I've been having romantic dreams about um, an old colleague, celebrities, just people randomly who have been in my life at some stage like very minorly. So I've forgotten they even exist. Um, but what's really annoying and good in a way is that Michael, my partner, always seems to pop up and I'll be like really into whatever I'm doing and then suddenly I'll be like, no, I can't, Michael, you know, my boyfriend, my partner or that sort of thing. Um, which I guess just shows how connected we are and how he's always in my thoughts so much he's even ruining my nice dreams. Um, but that is a nice side effect of being pregnant. Um, I don't feel sick yet, which is a surprise because um, this time, last time even with Lily, I was sick from about four or five weeks onwards. Um, perhaps that means that I'm gonna have a boy this time, I don't know. <laughs> but you know, Fingers, fingers crossed it's not something that I've experienced yet, although obviously it is early, a lot of people don't get sickness symptoms until about six to eight weeks. Um, I thought of a name which Michael doesn't like, which is Xander, <laughs> obviously if it's a boy. Um, I'm trying to talk him around to that, but of course it needs to be something that we're both happy with. Um, I am thinking like floral or nature names to try and match up with Lily. 
Um, also Lily is quite a traditional name so traditional names would go quite well with it. Um, my sister-in-law thinks we're having twins which I was mortified about at first but then I thought I would absolutely love twins. I don't know how I'd cope but twins would be just lovely. A boy and a girl and obviously Lily. The thing that worries me about that is twins obviously are well known for having a special bond and I wouldn't like Lily to feel left out. Um, I always said that I didn't think I could love another baby as much as I love Lily um, and I knew that that would come if the chance ever came along and it already has. I already love this baby so much and it, it just is equal. I don't know how that works but it just is. Um, and I'm really pleased for her as well because I just know that she would make a brilliant sibling and it would do her good to have a brother or sister and she's so good at, with babies, she loves looking after babies and talking to babies and of course there might be an element of jealousy but I don't really expect that from Lily. I mean I might be surprised but she's just not that type of girl yet, so we'll see. Um, so that's it, I've got a few pregnancy symptoms, I'm crossing everything I've got that this goes well. Um, I'm obviously overweight, which I was to a degree last time, but I wasn't managed in any way, it didn't need to be. Um, I was high risk because I ended up with gestational diabetes, which is probably partly due to my weight and partly due to the fact that I've got polycystic ovary syndrome. Um, I'm trying to eat what I ate last time after I found out about the diabetes because I don't want that to happen again. But of course there is quite a high risk that it will come back, so I want to try and get tested for that as early as we can. Um, with being overweight I need to go to the doctors and get some um, folic acid tablets because they prescribe a higher level of folic acid for the first 12 weeks if you are overweight, which I am. Um, and I just want to try and eat healthily and lose weight naturally throughout the pregnancy. Um, because obviously I want to want this to be a, a nice healthy pregnancy as much as it can be. I know I'm going to be high risk um, because of my weight but I'd like that to be the only thing because that I can deal with. I can go for walks, I can do some gentle exercises and swimming, I can watch what I eat um, and I can you know I can reduce that as the pregnancy goes on but the diabetes last time it came up borderline on the GTT which gave me some hope but it became unmanageable even with me eating what they wanted me to within a couple of weeks and I was on insulin in the end which was hideous um, and there's just so much risk with that we were so lucky with Lily so I just want to try and make sure that this goes as smoothly as possible we didn't expect to fall so early we knew that we wanted another child but I thought that the way that I am now we wouldn't be able to conceive um, so I thought that I would naturally lose weight as the year went by and then at some point we would be the right weight or slim enough or I would be slim enough to be able to conceive and for it to go well. Obviously we've managed to conceive now, um, I am heavier than I was before I had Lily, um, which I am putting down to comfort food because when you're tired and when you've had a bad day and especially when you're working at night as well or trying to fit your work in between nap times comfort food is just something to make you feel better a little treat for you when you've got no time for yourself then having something like that I find just cheers me up which means I've had far too much cake and cheese and all the things that I shouldn't have nice warm hot chocolates through the winter with loads of marshmallows and cream um, but I, my diet is better than it was before I got pregnant with Lily. I think it's just that that pregnancy weight and that baby weight I haven't lost. Um, so I am the same weight as I was shortly after having Lily. Um, which is a shame because I lost the weight and then gradually put it back on again. Um, so I need to obviously try and lose some weight throughout the pregnancy. Um, I am taking some vitamins which are these Pregnacare ones which are the ones that I took last time with Lily. Um, there are two tablets to take every day. One is high purity omega-3 capsules and the other is just the normal Prednicare multi-nutrient tablet. So I'll be taking these along with my folic acid when I see the doctor. Um, and hopefully that will make sure everything's okay. Um, I'm not sure about my dates like I said, or I am sure about my dates but my cycle and everything is quite irregular. So I'm hoping when I go to the doctors, which I need to do this week, they will book me in for a early dating scan. Um, and I think once I've seen that the baby's okay, 
and that it's actually there and that we're doing all right for now that will make me feel a bit better going forwards um so that's where we're at really i don't really have any more symptoms or anything else to tell you about week four which is the first week obviously i've recorded an update i'm going to try my hardest to try and record an update every week going forward and we're pregnant <laughs> we've done it so let's just hope that we can you know get to the end and have a perfectly gorgeous bouncing little baby to show for it um so yeah are you, are you pregnant at the moment or are you trying for a baby if you are just let me know in the comments if you can leave pregnancy buddies um yeah just let me know your symptoms let me know what i've got to look forward to and if you had the same symptoms as me were you having a boy were you having a girl were you having twins people keep on saying to me oh you've got you know quite a few symptoms so early on um that could mean that you're having twins which is probably quite a wide assumption but it would that would be lovely um, but I don't mind, I don't mind what I'm having, but I would like to try and guess because it's fun. Um, so yeah, if you could let me know, that would be brilliant. So thank you for watching and I will obviously have uploaded this weeks and weeks in the future. Um, hopefully, maybe I'll announce it early. You know, you just can't wait to get it out, can you? When you've got so much news. I haven't blogged, I haven't been on Instagram because I don't know what to say other than, I am pregnant! This is my big news, this is what I want to share, but I, I can't. At least not until we've had the first scan. Um, so yeah, if, you, if, you, if you're watching this, we've had the scan, we're doing well. And please, please, please pray for us and wish us luck. Thank you for watching and do subscribe to keep up to date with my pregnancy updates and everything else that we've got going on as well. Thanks. Thank you for watching.